Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about uh, custom grids with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and open up um, and create a new file. Uh, so this one let's call something like uh, uh, Bokeh custom grids.py and then let's also go on and um, get our basic imports going. And so let's, whoops, there we go. And let's go on and do from bokeh dot uh, plotting import here. We're going to do figure and show. Let's go on and create some uh, basic data. So one, two, three, four, five. Y here. Uh, let's make it something like four. Five, five, uh, eight, one, and then let's go on. And uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do here is create uh, some plot. Okay, so here we'll do figure, and then we want to create a title, and we'll call this a uh, custom uh, grids. And then uh, we also want to do our sizing uh, mode here, and we're going to do stretch width. And then what else are we going to want here? Uh, we'll also add in a max width here of, let's say, 900. And then we'll also do a plot height here of 250. Next thing that we're going to do, let's add in a renderer. And so here, dot p, uh, we want line. We'll do a nice line plot. X, Y, our line color here. Uh, we're going to have it to be red. And our line uh, width here, let's make it uh, 3. <coughs> And then let's go on. And here we're actually going to start adding a little bit of um, stylizing. So we're going to uh, change uh, the X grid. Okay. And actually, let me go on and just kind of show you guys, um, uh, uh, show you what the, the basic uh, grid is going to look like here. And whoops. And here it's color. Okay, and let me pull in. Let me pull this up. Okay, so here we see our custom grid. And again, what we can see from the basic shape here is our grid is these these lines in here that we see in the back. So the first thing that we're going to want to work on is using our um, custom, we'll do something, let's change the X grid first. So P dot X grid uh, dot uh, grid line color here, and we're going to set it to uh, red, okay? And so let me save this and let's go on and run this. And now you can see here that we added in those lines. And you know what? Let me change it to something um, something that will stand out. So let's say, uh, yeah, green. Mm, yeah, it's okay. So here you can see here that we have these uh, nice solid green lines in here at each of the x axes. And we can go on and also change change the y grid. As well and let's add in uh, something a little bit different here so let's do p dot y grid uh, dot grid line uh, you know what? let's not change we already changed that uh, so let's do the alpha okay so alpha itself is um, the transparency so let's do something like 0.8 we want it just a little bit transparent and we do p uh, Y grid dot uh, grid line and here we want let's make it a dash okay and then this will be something like a six by four 
for our grid. And so now we'll run this, and you can see here. And um, let me let me actually make this darker. So let me go on and add in uh, p uh, y grid grid line color in here, and I'm going to make it navy so it'll stand out. Okay, so now you can actually see that there are these dashes in here. Um, they're they're nice and visible. So again, we can change uh, change up the color and how our lines actually look uh, with these dashes, for example. Uh, we can also add in and let's let's go on and do that. I'm going to actually comment out all of this, and we're going to change up and we're going to start adding in maybe some bands. Okay, so let's do something like add bands to the Y grid. Grid. Uh, so P dot Y grid uh, dot band fill color. And I'm going to do something like a light blue. Uh, and then we'll do P dot uh, Y grid dot uh, band uh, fill alpha and here I want it to be really light so I'll put uh, point 0.1 in there and let's go on and run this and so you can see here that there are these nice light blue uh, lines in here um, and again in this band it's going to be basically every other color band so it'll be that color band blank color band and again if we change that alpha or maybe you know what let's actually just change this to blue um, there we go and so that actually shows up a little bit better for you guys and again this is this is has a nice transparency of point one so let's go on and also maybe add in um, some grid bounds so for example here we see that there's um, there's these heavy uh, grids right on uh, on one, two, three, four, five. And so let's say that we actually want to kind of solidify that we only want them from maybe two to four, okay, uh, for our grid bounds. And so let's uh, go through and we'll do this for our X. So we can do, um, uh, let's say, define uh, vertical. Uh, uh, bands okay and so we'll do p dot x grid here um, dot bounds bounds and you know instead of bands here I'm going to change this to bounds because that's actually what we're actually working with is the bounds here uh, and the bounds we want this from two as we said to uh, four I believe and that should actually show up just from two to four yes and so we see here that now we have there's nothing going on in here and we have something starting at two going up to four now this is also very useful for when for example you have um, a bunch of um, bands so we could actually switch this up so we want the bands to be something like um, uh, for and you know I'm going to change the title even uh, no we'll just leave it like this um, so for example, if you want to low, um, start putting in bands or specific um, bounding points for um, maybe presidents or Federal Reserve chairman or something like that, okay? Um, and, and you can put those type of bounds in there as well. Now, one last thing that we kind of want to talk about when we are uh, looking at these types of customized, uh, this grid type customization or anything like that, is also talking about um, so again this was this was the bounds I actually need to change that so we talk about that and this is uh, bands and bounds so these are our bands and bounds okay so I'll, I'll leave that here um, so the last thing we really want to talk about and I'll, I'll actually change this up here is uh, background colors uh, so background colors for each of our uh, visualizations. So I'm going to go on and comment this out as well. 
and uh, let's go on and maybe make some customized colors. So change uh, uh, background uh, fill colors. So p dot uh, background fill color here is equal to, and again, this they use the RGB color scale. Uh, so we'll do something like um, I don't know. Let me let me pull up some uh, color scales. Uh, so we can pick something out. That'd be nice. Uh, so so let me pull up um, pull up Google's RGB color picker, and let's grab um, so this green here is uh, 516882 and we can go on and put those numbers in here for our background color and if I run this you'll see that we get this um, heavy uh, green background okay so then we maybe want to uh, go on and put in some sort of nice border around here uh, so let's go on and pick um, some sort of border color. Uh, so let's go on and pick um, that red. Okay, and so I'm just going to highlight that RGB color scale. And again, if you if you know um, the RGB color systems, I, I really don't remember them very well, so I always kind of go and use that color picker. Um, let's do our uh, border fill color is going to be that color. And so let's run that so we can show that. All right, and so again, you see here, and again, I'm using, I am not using things that are pleasant to the eye at all. Um, I'm just doing this so that we can, sh I can show you guys what actually is happening here. So again, you can see that that border has now turned to that RGB color red that we picked, and that is using this um, uh, border fill color. Now we can also go in and we can do uh, one more, and that would be the outline color. Uh, and I want the outline color here. And uh, let's let's go on and pick um, a purple or a pinkish color. Again, we want something that really violate the eyes, uh, so we can find it. All right, let that run. Okay, and again, it it does not want to show up very well, but it is there. It's very close right here. So if I go on and I comment out these two lines and run this we should be able to pick that pick out that color see you can see this border color right here and maybe if I really zoom in oh, whoops I really zoom in you guys can see that color that border color there so that is going to be all for uh, talking about our uh, customized grids bands uh, bounds as well as our backgrounds if you guys like this please comment subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you guys next time Bye-bye.